welcome back to a brief recap of some top local headlines starting with Cal Poly Humboldt clarifying misinformation on what happened leading up to the protest or sweep of people illegally occupying campus. University officials say barricades had already been built and vandalism done when law enforcement was called out the first night. More police were only brought in, they say, after protesters refused to move out of buildings, clearing out the camp in the middle of the night, arresting over 30 people. And the Behavioral Health is closing its doors in Chico, leaving inpatient psychiatric care staff looking for jobs elsewhere. Inpatient services will still be offered at its main building, but the CEO says the move is the best efficient way for them to take care of people, especially facing challenges in recruitment of mental health professionals who want to work with the severely mentally ill. Closure expected in mid-August. The first homeless shelter in Tehama County celebrated its grand opening with a ribbon cutting ceremony yesterday. The shelter's years in the making coming after the Tehama County Continuum of Care gave $10 million of grant money to help fund the project services. Past director of operations says the ultimate goal is to help unhoused people overcome barriers they may be facing and get them out of homelessness and into permanent housing. Modoc County Sheriff's Office addressing concerns over rumors that the annual and oftentimes controversial Rainbow Family Gathering is set to take place in the Modoc National Forest. The last time the group was in Modoc County, the sheriff says some members caused serious safety concerns and dangers within the community. If the gathering does make its way back to Modoc, law enforcement will have an increased presence and approach it with a quote zero tolerance stance. And now we'll send you to Preston with today's top weather headlines. Yeah, Nazi, and the top headline is sunny. No matter where you are, beautiful conditions. We're talking about low 60s out at the coast, upper 70s further inland throughout the valley. We are back to those 80s in a few spots, at least Redding, Red Bluff, City of Shasta Lake. You are seeing those sunshiny conditions. Warm temperatures right where we should be. 79 in Chico, a couple 70s in Trinity County. Breezy, though, those north winds still strong out there. You can see that. We're looking at 30, 35 mile an hour gusts in a lot of spots, maybe up towards 40 miles an hour in Orland and Willows. So be ready for a breezy setup out there today. And again, that'll pick up out of the eastern high country tonight through the gaps in the mountains.